To create this perfect brush for creating hair strands in Illustrator, you go to New File, get yourself a project of 1000 times 1000 pixels. If you wanted to, you can also go into the advanced options, go to more settings and get rid of the transparent grid. Go ahead and click on create document. Once you've got yourself a new project, we're going to go to the shape tool, right click in here and get yourself the eclipse tool. With the eclipse tool, you want to create the brush by getting yourself a really thin line like this. So you want to make sure it has really pointy ends and that you have squashed it down to look something like this. We're going to go to the fill, set the fill on a black color and then get rid of the stroke. You can also center align this in the middle of the screen. So to save this brush, all you gotta do now is make sure that you have your brush panel open. If you don't have it open, then you can go to window and get yourself the brushes. But once you've got yourself the panel open, you want to go into the plus icon to create yourself a new brush. In here, you want to set this one to a art brush and press OK. Give this any name that you want. So we're going to call this hair brush. Leave everything else on default and then go ahead and click on OK. From here, all you got to do now is get yourself a new layer, hide this one. And as you can see, we now have the brush saved right here. So if you get yourself the brush tool, select yourself the brush. And if you start to draw this, you can see that we now have the perfect brush for hair strands. If you want yours to look really smooth like this, all you gotta do is double left click on the brush tool and set the fidelity to smooth. And this will make the brush strokes super smooth. And no matter if they are wobbly, it will continue to align it. So as you can see, and the cool thing about this is you can also individually select each one. And if you want to make it thicker, you can adjust the stroke or you can make it thinner by lowering the stroke. And then of course, finally, if you want to save this in your library or if you want to save the whole library, all you got to do is go to the lines at the top and save this brush library. So as you can see, I have mine saved right there. But if you save it, you can then load it up for next time and you'll have your brush automatically imported. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create the perfect brush